Hey guys, it's John with Ideaform 3D, and today I'm going to go over the Polygon Cruncher plugin I reviewed, but the plugin for Maya that's integrated into Maya. It's super useful and it's super nice having this really powerful polygon crunching tool just right inside of Maya. So yeah, right here uh, it says um, simplify your scenes inside of Maya using Polygon Cruncher, um, using Mel specific commands, um, and keep your object properties like textures, vertex painting, um, animation, etc. So the cool thing about this, it has the same um, technology backend that Polygon Cruncher has in the standalone, but now it just kind of integrates it inside of Maya. So on Thingiverse here, I downloaded this cool little tiki statue from user uh, Cerberus333. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> but um, I brought it into ZBrush and unwrapped it and created a cool little wood texture for it and brought it into Maya. So as you can see here, it has a pretty cool little wooden texture to it. The model is pretty sweet. But um, as you can see, it's a pretty dense mesh. So I'm going to see how Polygon Cruncher does optimizing this mesh, but preserving this texture that I created um, for it. So I'm going to hit Control D inside of Maya and drag over a copy so we can kind of have this as a reference. And I'm going to select my object that I want to crunch. And in the lower right hand corner, um, I'm going to open the script editor and under Mel, I'm going to type in. So when you install it, when you first initially install it, you install the plugin through Maya and you go to Windows Setting Preferences Plugin Manager. And if you just type in Poly, this will come up Polygon Cruncher and you'll want to make sure that these are ticked, loaded and auto load. So this makes sure that um, the Polygon Cruncher script is loaded when Maya starts. So after you do that, then hit the uh, little Mel script editor tab and under Mel, just lowercase p, poly, uppercase c, crunch. And I'm gonna hit the uh, go button. And what this did is it added a Polygon Cruncher node to the object I had selected and now all these new options come up on the right, which is essentially Polygon Cruncher. Right here I see um, optimization mode, um, keep textures, keep vertex colors, and a bunch of advanced settings and symmetry settings um, that make Polygon Cruncher super powerful. So it's the same tools, powerful tools, that Polygon Cruncher provides in their standalone but now it's all integrated inside of Maya. So right here, I'm just gonna hit keep textures and with the default settings, which works super well, I'm gonna hit calculate. Um, right here, it finished calculating the optimization and I get that slider that Polygon Cruncher has. So right now I can interactively um, decimate or optimize this mesh on the fly right inside of Maya, which is awesome. So I'm going to turn the um, this wireframe view on so we can just see um, the difference between our source mesh and what's happening with the optimization. So right here you can see Polygon Cruncher is again doing a super good job at um, optimizing the mesh dynamically to the level that we want, but doing a great job at preserving the shape and also most importantly I think preserving the texture so if we turn this off we can see it's absolutely amazing how well polygon cruncher does at preserving the texture and the shape which is like a huge time saver if you're creating LODs for a video game or you just want to optimize a mesh um, to make it a little more manageable for an animation or whatever your project is. So yeah, if I turn the uh, wireframe mode back on, I can see here that, um, let's type in six, that seems like a good value. Our model looks 
super clean. The shape looks very well preserved and our textures are looking excellent compared to our source. So yeah, and the cool thing, this is all right inside of Maya. So yeah, once I'm happy with my optimization inside of Maya, I can select my optimized mesh that has the polygon cruncher nodes and just final steps hit edit, delete by type history. And this collapses down um, the polygon cruncher node. It gets rid of it if we want to just clean things up. And then we can also do a freeze transforms, reset transforms, and bam, all inside of Maya, we were able to optimize this tiki head mesh to a really um, low res level and preserve our textures really well. And we didn't even have to leave Maya. So again, um, Polygon Cruncher, um, super amazing tool, super powerful optimizing tool that allows you to preserve textures and optimize your mesh super clean, but this time all inside of Maya.